Hi, and welcome to the Crunch Guide to Your Self-Assessment. Now, as a company director, you are required to file a self-assessment each year, and these will be due by the 31st of January. Now, you can arrange for Crunch to complete your self-assessment on your behalf, or if you're a Crunch Plus or Premium member, this is included as part of your Crunch package. Now, to get started, you need to navigate to the self-assessment page of your Crunch account. Now, if you want to get a quote, from us, you can press the Get a Quote button here. Now, you'll be prompted to then start to enter in your self-assessment information. So please be aware you are going to need to have your UTR number um, set up from HMRC in order to do this. Now, you will need to then proceed to answer the question. So if you require to make student loan deductions, you'll need to tick so. And essentially, you will just need to follow the guidance here and answer the questions to ensure that you've given all of the correct information to Crunch in order to give us the full picture of your income for your tax year in question. So for example, here we need to mark either yes or no on each of these sections. So most of them are in relation to any previous employments or additional other work. Now, if you have files to upload, you can simply choose them from your desktop and save them here. Now we'll click no here just to make things simpler. And if you've submitted your P11D through your Crunch company, this will be available to us. Now, the, the more different types of income that you have, the more complex the tax return that you have will be. So for example, here we're being asked if we have dividends from other companies outside of our Crunch account. So if we say no here, the dividends within our Crunch account are already recorded and our accountants here at Crunch can see those and obviously have that detail to hand to get started. So we would obviously need your account to be up to date in order to do this. So bear in mind, if you do want to get a self-assessment quote from us, but you haven't yet recorded all of your data, then you'll need to make sure that those things are caught up to date. So we're looking here at, at interest. So let's say that I've received the almighty sum of three pounds in interest, and you can enter in the bank information there as well. Um, so let's say this is from NatWest, and we can then save that. We also need to know about any pension contributions. So if you have paid into a pension from a personal fund, we will need to list that as well. Same goes for rental property. Um, so obviously if you are earning from um, a property income, we do need to know about that as well. And also capital gains. Essentially, the self-assessment questionnaire here is for us to gather all the applicable information um, from any sources that you've had. So if you've had any sources of income outside of your company through Crunch. Obviously, we don't have access to that information at the moment, and we will need you to provide any of it if um, that is applicable. Now, many of these sections may not be applicable to you, um, and essentially, the less information there is required, then the less complicated that return is going to be. So once you've completed your questionnaire, you get a chance to check that it's all correct. Now, if you want to make a change to anything, if you've forgotten to include any information or if you've made an error at any point, you can change that nice and simply. And you can then finally tick to agree to the terms of service and this will then send it off to your Crunch accountant who will be able to go through and advise the correct quote for you. So we will get in touch with you once you submit this to us and we'll be ready to get things started and get that self-assessment taken care of. So that completes our quick look at how to get started with arranging for Crunch to do your self-assessment. If you want to know more information about the self-assessment process or what you need to do, please be sure to check out our Help Centre or the other video guides we have on this topic.